r slash ask reddit what the stupidest argument you've ever gotten into my college roommate and i didn't speak for three weeks because of an argument regarding toilet paper roll placement it started off as a discussion then an argument then to the, the point where he called my sister a horse and i broke his wrist over it goes over I wonder if there will ever come a time where humanity is split not cause of race, religion or ethnicity but because they can't agree under or over. I feel like one side will be wiped out. She got pissed at me because I was mean to her in a dream. My girlfriend just told me that she had a dream that I cheated on her. Today's gonna be a foo woo and day. RIP in peace, champ. My girlfriend pulled that on me. Luckily I had just had a dream where she killed me with a spear so I shut her down real quick. My friend and I got into an argument over whether chocolate would kill my dog. Of course I was arguing that it would and he was arguing it wouldn't. Eventually he went home and I went to bed. Woke up to my dog vomiting violently under the bed. I could smell chocolate. That bastard. I rushed my dog to the vet and he needed to know how much chocolate my dog may have ingested. I called my friend but he denied feeding my dog any. He had 80% dark chocolate when he was over. My other friend was in the car with him when I called. He turned to her after hanging up the phone and said I might have fed him a couple of squares to prove my point. My dog ended up in intensive care at the vet for days. On an IV and carefully watched, he pulled through. The vet said throwing up undoubtedly saved his life. The stupid argument that almost cost my dog his life. Needless to say I am no longer friends with that a-hole. The fact that he didn't even admit it when you called him from the vet is the worst emo. He knew your dog was in danger and he could help. Just by admitting his idiocy. And still he denies it. I'm glad your dog made it through and hope he's doing well. Someone told me my dad is better than your dad. When my dad was clearly the superior one. Not as superior as my dad. My dad can beat up your dad. When I was 6 my friend and I stood facing each other, arguing about which hand was your left, and which was your right. It took us about 5 minutes to realize that, when standing opposite someone, your left side is their right. I couldn't understand this concept in kindergarten. The teacher would stand up in front of us and refer to her left as my right. This about sent me into a panic attack as a kid. Had I gone my whole life confusing left for right? What was wrong with me? I went home thinking kindergarten was gonna be really tough and that I'd never be good at school. This is adorable. I will share my own experience. I was very young and helping my mother with the laundry for the first time ever. She says. Make sure to the put the clothes in on their right side. So naturally I dump the clothes into the right side of the washing bin. She comes back with more clothes and asks, why aren't you putting these clothes in on their right side? They're inside out. My wife and I got into a screaming match because our broccoli wasn't growing as well as we thought it should, and clearly it was the other person's fault. Our marriage, where the big things matter less and the little things are explosive. Honey I got fired that's okay we'll work through this together. Honey I moved the cereal to the left side of the pantry are you duck I'm kidding Emmy the right side is clearly more easily accessible I want a divorce. She rearranged the spice cabinet once. I almost sent her to live with her family for a while. Reminds of the time my mom wanted to mash the potatoes using the food processor rather than just smashing them. My dad didn't like this idea for some reason so he decided to put the food processor on the roof so she wouldn't have access to it. I had an ex argue with me over which would weigh more, a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers. We went back and forth forever while I tried to explain it to her. It did not help when her mother chimed in with what about a pound of wet feathers. The apple does not fall far from the tree. No, her mother knew. What she did was toss a grenade into the conversation and walked away. My granddad used to do this. There was a place in London where people would go stand on a soapbox, and rant about whatever. My gramps would go up to them, disagree with them until everyone was arguing with each other, then leave. I was living with a buddy and we were getting on each other's nerves. One night we were arguing about whether to break spaghetti noodles in half. I finally said, you cook yours your way, broken, and I'll cook mine unbroken. He took half the spaghetti from the package and broken the noodles in half. Put them in boiling water and started stirring. While I stood there with the package, mostly we glared at each other. Then he reminded me to add my half to the pot. After I did it, 
Then he thought of something. How are we going to separate the long noodles from the short ones? In my family, we always broke them in half to better fit in the pot. When I moved in with my then boyfriend, he thought this was weird and wrong. So I stopped. Then when we broke up and I got my own place, I celebrated by making pasta and breaking those little duckers in half. It was when I knew I was truly free. Edit. I didn't realize this was such a common divisive issue. Me and my friend are both smokers. We were talking to my other friend who wasn't. The non-smoking friend was saying how bad smoking is etc. And that we should both quit and my smoking friend was arguing that smoking wasn't bad for you at all and he had no reason to quit. Now at first I thought he was joking. But no he was deadly serious. So I informed him he was wrong and that smoking does indeed kill people. He got angry screamed that we were lying then left and hasn't spoken to me since this was like 6 years ago. Edit. He's not dead. Just stupid. Haha <laughs> that's the most sincere, hardcore form of denial I've heard in a while. Yeah definitely, that's why I assumed he was joking at first he kept saying stuff like people wouldn't intentionally harm themselves just so they could enjoy a cigarette. The arguments you have where someone is venting at you at something infuriating and you agree with them. But they are so mad that they want to argue with you about it, even though you agree with them and say yes throughout the conversation. That is like 80% of my conversations on reddit. My friend once tried to argue that token, the black character in South Park, was named as such because black people are stereotypically always toking on weed and crack. I argued that it was because he's the token black character. My mom is super religious and superstitious so whenever I would say something negative we would have to cancel it by saying cancel cancel cancel. So whatever bad thing we said wouldn't come true so. One day my sister did something stupid and 12 year old me said you are stupid and I hope you die. My mom heard me from the room and screamed at me cancel it. Me. No. Mom. Cancel it. Three times. Me. Fine. Cancel. Mom three times. Me. No. Mom. Cancel it. Two more. Me. Cancel. Mom. One more. Me. Mom. Go to your room you are grounded. Me. Cancel 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 I am sorry mom pls. Yay. Mrs. Kelly. Why are you doing everything in threes? Oh. So that Charlie doesn't die. That if you go on someone's property. You're their property. Needless to say he isn't very bright. He's locked up in my garage now. Not me but my parents. They got into an argument about a little bit of sauce getting wasted because it came out too fast. My dad got pissed off about it because he's just quit smoking. And they haven't spoken to each other for nearly 2 days now. My parents go on reddit too. So I hope they see this and realize how stupid they're being. Jane. It was about minus 40 outside in the winters. Bill. Celsius or Fahrenheit? Me. They are actually the same as minus 40. Jane. Really? Bill. No. They aren't. You're talking shit. Me. I'm 99% sure that they are the same at minus 40. Bill. I have a physics degree. You're an idiot. Bill then went on to reference my idiocy twice more over the course of the evening. Bill is a twat. I have a friend like this that likes to be technically correct but is also always wrong. He was convinced Jesus was Spanish, and the reason so many Latin Spanish, why, people have the name Jesus is because the Mayans were invented when the Spanish went to the Middle East and took Jesus to Mexico. His entire argument was you're wrong you're so dumb omg Jesus was Spanish because they took him how could you be so dumb? Ever hear something so stupid you started making noises like a walrus trying to contain stupidity vomit? My friend's car's battery died and I suggested we push start it, in Ireland. Where the vast majority of cars are manual, every person in the country has once been beckoned to push start a car. My friend said no, you can't push start a car and eventually started calling me an idiot and all sorts. She was so adamant that she was correct that she rang a mutual friend, a mechanic, asked him the question and he replied of course, who the duck is saying you can't. One day my girlfriend was a huge beach all day, treating me like shit, yelling at me. Then finally saying well at least I didn't kiss another person while we were together. Dumbstruck. I asked her when this happened. She said yesterday at your friend's party. That's weird. I went to school then work then came over and we went to bed. It was at that point that we realized it was a dream. 
Thanks lady. Who are these people that can't tell their dreams from reality? Fighting with my brother about which fruit would win if they were sentient and could fight. My colleague and I spend half a day trying to decide what would be best. Burp confetti or fart glitter. Thank you internet for giving us wonderful things. Well you would obviously not wear pants. That human blood is blue before it hits oxygen. Which is why your veins are blue. This led to 5th grade me poking myself with pins for hours to see if I could see it change over from blue to red while my brother kept me at it be telling me I wasn't doing it fast enough. Uh, goddamn older brothers. I think if you were stabbing yourself for hours your brother won. I had an extended argument about whether or not Oregon Trail, the game, promoted communism. Like, this was like 20-30 minutes of arguing. No. No it doesn't. When I was around 14 I got in not an argument with classmate about whether or not the sun was burning. I said it was not, because the definition of burning is a reaction with oxygen. Nuclear fusion is not. I could not convince him. His anger increased until he almost became violent, but I could not let this go. Some teacher overheard this argument and did sent us to the physics teacher to solve the issue. What did the physics teacher say? Probably depends on the definition of burn. In 5th grade, Bella wears grey underwear in twilight. No, her underwear is dark purple. You can admit it was last week. This is the internet, a safe place. I once argued with a drunk guy who was telling me it took years for the light from the sun to reach the earth. Well, technically he was right. Assuming that most of the light emitting matter is placed far below the surface it takes several thousands of years for the photons to reach the surface, due to collisions. After it leaves the surface it only takes plus minus 8 minutes or 1522 e 5 years p. Believe me, that was not the point he was arguing. I had a computer science teacher who didn't know anything about technology. We got into arguments because she insisted that a degree in creative writing would be the best way to prepare yourself for an IT job rather than a degree in computer science. Creative writing could be useful when explaining to your boss why the code you wrote doesn't work. 30 frames per second versus 60 frames per second. Okay I'm not going to be one of the people that says you can tell the difference or anything like that because you can. It's very obvious that 60 frames per second is much nicer, but I found a lot of people on this website, specifically gaming subreddits, can't play a game at anything lower than 60, I understand it's not ideal and it's nice to get smooth gameplay but it's hardly game breaking, I don't have a great computer so that's probably why but I still enjoy the games, it gets kinda ridiculous. My cousin said that her laptop was overheating and making a buzzing sound. Her friend piped up and commented that it was most definitely a virus, and she should take it to Geek Squad to have it removed. I said no, it's not a virus, it's probably your fan. Your fan is messed up, it's probably just dusty, try cleaning that out. Note, I am not an IT professional, but come on, this girl got righteously pissed and told me that no, it was a virus. And she knows because she had the same issue with her laptop a few months ago and Geek Squad fixed it. This went back and forth for a bit with me insisting that a virus doesn't affect the fan function. It was literally a hardware issue. And she was talking to me like she couldn't believe how ducking stupid I was to not realize that a virus was making my cousin's laptop fan bog down. I finally explained to her how viruses work. And she stomped her foot like a child and exploded that IT's stud AI learned lay virus. The virus just deleted the file that runs the fan. I stare at her in disbelief. The file that runs the fan? What is that? Fan eggs? And she said finally, you get IT. She was so convinced that this was the case that my cousin, not noted for her critical thinking skills, believed her and said she'd just take the laptop in to have it checked and cleaned. Whatever. If you wanna pay out the ass to have some smug douche at Geek Squad fix your laptop. Ain't my business. Gravity. No not the movie. Some picklehead was trying to tell me that gravity pulls different objects to ground at different speeds. I don't even. I mean, if your only experience with gravity is on earth, it makes sense. What with air resistance? There's a really cool video of astronauts on the moon dropping a feather and a hammer at the same time specifically to demonstrate this. 
when my daughter was 3, we were driving home together from the park and Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven came on the radio. She told me to change the station. It was a bad song. And I told her no. It's the best song ever. You should listen to it. She then proceeded to tell me I hate this song. I was like you're 3. This is the best song ever. You don't know anything about it. Oh my god I'm arguing with a 3 year old. We got home and she took a nap. I was vegan for a few years, and joined a club type organization. We would swap recipes, talk about new products and just hang out. Most of the people were pretty awesome, but like everything, some were a bit loony. There was this one girl, who thought all animals could choose to be vegan. In her opinion, a wolf could just decide one day I want to avoid animal products. So she would talk about wanting to go speak to wild animals about the benefits of a vegan diet. I tried to tell her that animals really couldn't just go vegan. And she suggested that we feed them soy based meat alternatives. We all tried to help her understand that animals can't. And she refused to believe us. She eventually stopped coming to the get togethers. Thankfully, she refused to own pets. So no animals directly suffered from her beliefs. They just had to listen to her talk when she went out converting. Argument with my ex about her $25,000 credit card debt with mostly plus 25% APRs. She'd finally gotten a job which paid her a $5,000 bonus about a year before we were to get married. She thought it would make more sense to hold on to the money for paying for the wedding or in an emergency. I tried, hopelessly to explain to her that paying off her credit card debt would increase her income by reducing her monthly interest and improve her credit, making her eligible for 0% cards to which she could transfer her debt and increase her income further, eventually making her, and, me, her eventual husband, debt free. She insisted that having the cash available was more important, but I insisted that it was irrelevant since I was paying for half the wedding, her parents the other half, and really wanted her to cover her debt, trying to inject a sense of personal responsibility into someone who was babied her entire life. She, at the time in her late 20s, could not understand this and even when I made an effort to explain it to her in terms of simple principles of economics, she insisted that we have available cash, even further indebting herself by taking a $4,000 loan out to pay for the honeymoon. For what it's worth, I did not want her with access to cash, having racked up so much debt to begin with, especially if racking up 25k in debt was her fault, it wasn't. She lost a job several years before and her parents offered to employ her in their gift shop. For pay, they'd take her credit cards and pay them down. At that time, she claimed, she had about $3,000 in debt. She lived at home and they gave her an allowance so she was fine with the arrangement. Along comes little old me, engaged to her after dating for almost 3 years putting it off for a variety red flags. And we start living together, getting our joint finances in order. Wait, what do you mean? You mom handles your credit and ATM cards? What do you mean your mom saves money for you? I asked her mother politely several times for the credit cards, because she wanted nothing to do with her personal finances. Go figure, so we could get our finances in order but she kept putting me off. Always with excuses. Until finally, one day many weeks later, she sat down with me and gave me a crying routine about how things were really bad at their store. So to fund additional inventory, she was leaning on her daughter's credit cards that she had easy access to. This was in addition to her own personal maxed out credit cards, personal loans, business loans, maxed out vendor credit. It gets worse. My ex had an older brother who was special, nice guy, but perpetually 7 years old. One day he gets a call at home from someone telling him that if he did not pay off his credit card he couldn't buy a house, would be subjected to serious financial issues, etc. He knew nothing about it, didn't even know he had a credit card, dude just spent money on video games and comic books, and he asked my ex's older sister about it. The elder sister starts looking into it, asks the mother about it, and the mother got furious that the sister dare ask her about such a thing. They did not speak to each other for months. I don't know how much the credit card balance was but, whatever it may have been, I'm sure she maxed it out like she did the rest of them. So, clearly, you can infer where my ex got her money handling savvy from. Semicolon. I bailed from that relationship 6 weeks before my wedding. Why didn't I leave sooner? 
I was in the middle of a very long term relationship and it seemed so difficult to call off a wedding, leading to a breakup, and never see each other's families and shared friends. Almost easier to go through with it and deal with divorce later on. Hearing what I've heard from divorced people, that is absolutely not the case. Just explaining my mindset here at the time. Since then, I've found out about other not so insignificant but alarming. Nonetheless, things that made me happy I didn't go through with it. I even found out that she may have cheated on me at least two times. Once early on in our relationship with a boss of hers and another time on a business trip in San Francisco. Look, I may have just wasted an hour of my time writing such a long post on an aging ass credit. But if one person reads this and gets anything out of it, I just advise that you not ignore those red flags. There's a reason for your instincts. Listen to them. I hope my experience helps someone make the right choice. Edit. Thank you to the kind stranger who guided me with gold. My apologies to those who thought my story too long. I felt it necessary to make the context clear. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.